Hey all, uh, a viewer uh, asked me to take a look at a installation script for Arch Linux, and this case is called Arch Linux Ultimate Install Script, and uh, there's uh, it's fairly straightforward. Uh, so I'll just go through the steps of uh, getting this to work, and I'm going to try this as it suggests here in VirtualBox, and the link is up here, and I'll post that in the description. So I'll uh, fire up uh, VirtualBox. I already have Arch Linux ready to go. And so I'll just uh, start this and I'll close this window. Um, what I like to do usually when I'm using um, a virtual machine is I got to use 64 bit as well, by the way. Is I press tab and I put a space and then VG, VGA equals uh, 791 or 792. Press enter and just a larger screen. That's all. Okay, and uh, as it says here in the settings, all you need is a root access and connect to the internet. And then uh, you just get uh, a system update to install the JIT way or Git, JIT, whatever. Uh, so just the update and then Git, Git, JIT, and then you type this in and uh, we'll. Move on from there. Since this virtual box are pretty much know it's connected, I'll check though. So anyway, so it's Pac-Man, and we'll just make sure it's working. S Y Y. Whoops, two Y's there. Sorry. Yes. So it's uh, synchronizing the mirrors to make sure. And then uh, Pac-Man uh, dash capital S Y U, and it will get some updates for us. Okay, so it's done its uh, updating, and we're at the bottom here at the command prompt. I'll just uh, press Control L because there's uh, really not much to see there. And uh, we just have to get Git itself, so it's uh, I'll just uh, arrow key up, and it's Pacman dash S, and then just the word G I T Git, and that should download and install for us. Now we have to get the uh, automated uh, script, and it's a uh, Basically, uh, typing in a couple of commands. So I'll zoom in here, and it's a uh, it's simple enough commands. It's a JIT clone, and instead of typing uh, uh, HTTP, it's JIT colon sla uh, two slashes, and then in this case is JIT hub dot com, and then whatever you want to grab. In this case, uh, we'll look at the address H E L M U T H D U uh, slash A U I. Okay, so it's the same as what's in the address except for the HTTPs, you put uh, JIT instead. And just uh, press enter, and it should uh, go out and grab the package, and it's done very quick. And uh, if Still, like I haven't changed any directory, so I'll just do a list, ls. You can see that the AUI is now in the directory here. So we'll just change to that directory, cd AUI. Let's do another list out. And there's uh, two main scripts we want to use as AIS and AUI. Uh, we're going to use the first one. So it's broken up into two parts, as it's shown on the uh, this page here. So all I have to do is type in uh, a dot, a slash, an AIS, and press enter. And then it says press enter to continue. And it shows you the link at the top of where this is from. So you just go through this step by step. So you press 1. And yes, there's a lot of key, <laughs> key maps. Um, if you have to, if you can't get to, say, a, a lower number, just hold down the shift key and press page up or page down so you can see and I want uh, number 208 US so I just put that in the bottom here 208 and it's going to ask for confirmation and you type Y for yes and then we go back it throws you back to the uh, configuration so you see that it's checked off the select key map you go to uh, 2 select editor and your choice 
um, I'm going to use nano, so that's two. And then uh, configure your mirror list. So that's uh, step three. And again, it's uh, numbered. And you just uh, type in the number of your uh, country that you need to use. And then confirm that is this the country you want? Yes. And it's going to spit out the mirror list. It shows you. And just press Control X to close. And now we're on to create a partition. You have choices here. Um, I'm familiar most in with Arch using CF disk, which is option one. So you just press one. And SDA is the only uh, drive on this, of course. So press one again. And at the bottom here, it says new primary. Uh, what's there? And then uh, make sure bootable is highlighted. And in this case, that's all I'm going to do. And then hit the right and then type in the word yes enter and it's done press Q to quit and then we're going to format the partition we just made so that's option 5 and SDA 1 is correct so you press 1 to enter and uh, confirm that with yes and we want uh, option 4 extension 4 but it's up to you and it does its format. At the bottom here, I didn't leave any space for a swap. I'm not going to use a swap. If you do, make sure you leave enough space in the first part where you uh, use CF disk or whatever you're using for a swap partition. So my option here would be three to skip. Okay. Press Enter, continue. And we're back to the selection menu and then install base system. That's number six. And this uh, will take a few minutes to download and install. Okay, once it uh, installs the base system, it uh, throws us back to the selection screen. So the next option is to configure the file system table, uh, which is option 7. Press 7, press Enter. And you have uh, three options. Um, I like to use, in Arch, I like to use uh, the first option, DEV. If you want to use the other, one of the other two, that's uh, your choice, but... I find DEV and Arch simpler to deal with. So I press option one, press enter continue. It'll get a, give you a review of what is just done. There's only one partition that we have to, the system has to know about. So that's it. So that's control X to quit. And then we configure a host name. That can be anything you want. So that's option eight. Just type in VBox, good enough. And then uh, option nine, time zone, and uh, select your area, and then your country. And again, if it's uh, too small, you can hold the shift key to page up, page down, etc. And you just pick a city that's close to you, and you press enter, and it's going to ask for confirmation. Make sure that's right. Yes. And then uh, configure the hardware clock. So that's option 10. I'll uh, we'll just pick UTC. And configure the locale. So that's option 11. There's a whole bunch here. Um, might take a second for me to find it. I think it's on. Uh, nope, it's not 40. Where could it be? 80? Yes. In my case, it's option 80, E N U S. So just type in 80. Enter, confirm, yes. Then it does the locale gen for you. And then configure the um, MK init uh, for your kernel. So you just enter 12 and it just does that for you. Okay, and then uh, option 13, install a bootloader. I'm going to use Grub2. Uh, I know you can use SysLinux, which is neat. Uh, so I'm going to use option 1. And it downloads Grub. Uh, choose automatic, I guess, on a virtual box. Manual might get you, might be confusing. So just choose option one. And it does its thing. And press enter to continue. And the last option for the uh, automated install script is number 14. So you set your password, your root password. And then you type it again as usual. 
press enter. Press enter again. And that's it. So you press D. Done. Reboot now. Type in Y to reboot. 